supposed to be my start of my video series on fluid mechanics. I've been meaning to do this for a while. I have not gotten around to doing it, but here we are with fluid mechanics. All right, so basically this will be an introduction to what is a fluid, and a fluid simply is a liquid or a gas. We'll go into more formal definitions of what a liquid and what a gas is, and the shear stress and things like that. This will, uh, this uh, fluid mechanics uh, section will be, um, we'll talk about fluid statics first. And then we'll talk about fluid dynamics, and there'll be some calculus involved, not like too too much. We're not going to talk about like, you know, vector fields and tens. We're not going to get that advanced because I haven't studied uh, fluid mechanics at that level. But we'll talk, we'll introduce some calculus concepts and, you know, pressure fields and things, things like that, and, you know, work and force and distance. Um, let's get right into it. So, as I said before, a fluid is a liquid or a gas right here. You know, someone, we have water, H2O, can be a liquid or a water vapor or steam. That's H2O is a gas form. Hydrogen sulfide, H2S, and room temperature, it's a gas. And then we have propane, and that's uh, normally a gas at room temperature. And then we have chlorine gas, Cl2, and then we have uh, mercury. Now, mercury is interesting because it's the only uh, metal, uh, liquid metal at room temperature. We'll talk, I mean, all about this stuff later. But anyways, so essentially fluid static is a very important, a very simple equation. It's the sum of the net forces in a fluid uh, in a static system is equal to zero. Because when you think about it, the fluid is not really moving, so all the forces sort of cancel out. So whatever forces are acting on, such as gravity and things like that, they all eventually cancel out to zero. That's what causes it to be no rest. So there's a, there's a equilibrium, you know, in, in there. And for fluid mechanics, simply put, it's a basically I'm sorry, fluid dy fluid dynamics. It's uh, um, which is flu basically fluids in a uh, movement. Uh, that is uh, equal mass and acceleration. You know, well, that's just Newton's second law. Uh, okay, we'll talk more about this later. So, you know, what, what, what exactly, where, where does fluid mechanics come from? Well, fluids have been studied for the longest time. You know, we have, you know, uh, Bernoulli's principle. We have, you know, pressure fields. We have uh, the Navier-Stokes equations. And actually, Navier-Stokes equations, now that I mentioned, is actually one of the seven millennium prize problems. Um, essentially, they're trying to find, like, you know, what is turbulence and, like, a complete, uh, consistent mathematical um, formulation of, uh, basically, Navier-Stokes equations and, and smoothness. What they call it is basically a complete, you know, mathematical model of how fluids work, in particular gases. And, you know, what exact, what about, you know, gases and, you know, us outer space? And just, well, fluid mechanics is, you know, it's, it's why, there's why applications, especially in engineering, you know, uh, rocket science, and, you know, aer aerospace engineering, uh, fluid mechanics is, you know, used for uh, the nozzles and how, you know, how much force they exert, you know, what's, you know, what's the best way to, you know, initiate a spe uh, specific impulse. And you know, uh, thrust and you lift and drag. All fluid mechanics is widely used in the you know aerospace you know and uh, fields. Uh, just it's really important to know how you know a, a plane's wings and you know other parts of you know propulsion systems will work uh, based on the uh, the laws of fluid mechanics. So it's very widely applicable, especially in engineering sense. But even even from a physics and mathematical standpoint, it's interesting to look at because there's a lot of interesting things that go on with uh, fluids. And this will this video series will be interesting because I'll throw in some. Uh, Nice little science experiments uh, to, 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 you know, exploit, uh, get some ideas across, uh, just, just, just for fun. But again, you know, it's widely applicable. There's a the Navier Stokes, a seven, one of the seven millennium prize problems, which go for a million dollars if uh, someone can actually uh, prove or, or I should say, uh, establish, in that case, a uh, mathematical uh, model for uh, the Navier Stokes equation system. Sort of like the P versus NP problem, which I talked about in the, um, the theory of computation video series. It's all, it's all there. Uh, anyway, so again, take away from this video, a fluid is simply a liquid or a gas, and uh, there's two branches of fluid mechanics, there's fluid statics, which is fluids at rest, and there's fluid dynamics, which are fluids in motion, and that actually in and of itself is part of a larger, uh, is a subset, another larger larger study called continual mechanics, which uh, the other subset of that is solid mechanics, which you know talks about crystals and things like that, that's like material science. Anyways, so yeah, that's all for this video pretty much, hope you guys enjoy, see you guys in the next one.